Hi guys, a uh, very quick one today. Um, I've had lots of questions from my subscribers, which I absolutely love. I keep them coming. I don't mind getting back to you at all. But um, one lady noticed that when I'd cut the burgers, she asked why there was so much fat with the burgers. Am I using oil, etc. So I wanted to show you today that um, I hardly ever, ever use oil in my Ninja. I've not, not found it necessary. Um, so I wanted to just show you when I'm using, I'm just going to do some sausages quickly. Um, husband and I are just going to have some sausages and a bunch of salad leaves for lunch today, a very quick lunch. But I thought I'd take you through it so you can see exactly all meats lose so much of their juices as they're cooking, particularly burgers. A good burger needs an element of fat for you to get the flavour. Um, the burgers that I use are 98% meats, so there's only 2% fat. And, and they come out looking super moist. They just cook beautifully. I want to demonstrate today with the sausages, okay? My sausages are Waitrose sausages. They're a premium range. Hope you can see that. They're a 97% pork. The other 3% is made of, of um, I believe it's like a maize filler and there will be an element, a small amount of fat. I haven't broken it down because these sausages I use all the time, they're delicious. And as far as I'm concerned, 90%, 97% pork is a pretty good sausage. Okay, before we start cooking, guys, just want to shout out to my new subscribers. I appreciate all of you. Um, hi to Les, he's just joined me, and Victor. Um, I love seeing new people come on, and uh, I do feel guilty. I cannot keep up with um, all these things. I start projects, and then they go to edit, um, my husband edits for me, he's super busy too, so it all gets held up waiting to be done. Hopefully this one will be out today, um, but just say I want to appreciate you all. Anyway, now's the time, let's get these sausages in. Step one, turn our ninja on. Open the basket, as you can see, lovely clean basket, there's no oils, there's no grease, nothing in there. Okay, let's take our sausages. Um... I don't prod them, I don't prick them, nothing. Just lay them into the basket. Uh, I'm gonna have two. Uh, I don't know how many John's gonna have. Um, look to the cameraman, three, okay. Yeah, he's bigger than me, so we'll give him three. The other one I'm gonna actually freeze because I do a sausage pasta. So I end up with all these single sausages in my freezer, get them out and I make a delicious Italian sausage pasta. That's another story. Okay, so sausages in there, no sprays, no oils, nothing. In a moment, I'll set these going, and in a moment I'll show you the one oil that I do if I need to use anything that I do use. Okay, in, let's go um, air fry. Okay, 200 degrees, that's brilliant. Okay, uh, 20 minutes, they're not going to take 20 minutes, but uh, because they are quite thick, chunky sausages, I'm giving them 17. I may stop it before that. I do check them. And just press start okay take the tongs off the top ninjas on the way i'll just get my um, spray out to show you the one cow spray that i use um okay it's um nothing artificial extra virgin oil spray and it's one cow i suppose that's one good spray i'm not sure i don't use it very often um in fact quite often i end up throwing things out and having to renew them because the date runs out of Always check your oil dates. People forget about things like this. Like everything else, it has a date where it'll expire. Oils can actually get quite acid. Um, they ferment because you're keeping them in the warm, things like that. This one's June 22, so it's got another month and then out it goes. And it's virtually brand new. It's a shame, I hate waste, but at the same point, I don't want a bad stomach. So that's the, the only time I've actually used this when using the Ninja was when I was cooking some uh, white fish that had literally, there was no skin on it, it was just a piece of white cod. I was quite worried it would dry out. So I gave it a quick spray of this and then I put um, sliced lemon on the top. It was actually beautiful. Um, and I think it probably, that was the one time that I would use this. When I cook salmon, you don't need, salmon's an oily fish, you don't need any spray in it. Okay, that's back in the cupboard. I'm just going to quickly look at the sausages. Okay, are we there? Just starting to cook them in. Right, so I think we'll be back in about 
12 minutes and I'll show them what they're looking like. Um, right, we've got six minutes to go. I just wanted to show you at this stage um, what the sausages are actually looking like. You can actually see um, the juices from the sausage actually dripping through the pan into the base. Now, that is not oil. That is not, well, there will be. It's a, a, a mixture of fats and meat oils, but it's nothing I've put in. It's very natural. It's a healthy way because it's dripping through. Okay, so you just see that stage and we're back. Okay, just give them a quick shake up. They need shaking to get an even cooking. Okay, just another quick check. We've got one minute to go. And they're looking lovely. Okay, let's just get my tongs and move one round up. Okay, make sure we're cooking even. Back on. Okay, and the end. Let's take these out. Right, come and have a look. You can see in, in here, underneath and on the pan and the pan base is the um what comes out the sausage uh most of it goes underneath which is brilliant so it, they're not cooking in any fats and they look so good okay. beautiful color all the way around yeah absolutely lovely Okay, and that is going to have warm soapy water left to stand while we actually eat our lunch and then it's just um, wash out and that's it. I don't put them, as I've said before, I do not put these in the dishwasher. I'm just going to leave it there for the moment and turn. make sure I turn that off. Okay, and um, before I go, I just want to show you what I use because uh, people have asked about salad dressings and things. I absolutely love really good balsamic vinegar. Um, I've tried many, many versions, and this is the one that I really only enjoy. It does retail at £13 a bottle, and everyone's going, oh, my God, for balsamic vinegar. But this bottle will last me probably about nine months. It's it's quite thick and syrupy. You literally only need a drizzle on it, and that's it. It's sweet. There's no harshness there. It's absolutely beautiful. John just has a squeeze of fruit juice, but I, I'm the balsamic vinegar lover. So I'm just going to... Um, nice easy little quick lunch before we have dinner tonight just to get us through the rest of the day that's it that's all you need a couple of drops on it just gives it that little bit of extra seasoning okay i hope you all understand now that i don't use fats most of the time you don't need to use fats or oil just enjoy your ninja see you later bye <laughs>